Hi, and welcome to our Teach Out Listening to Puerto Rico. My name is Will Potter. I'm an investigative journalist and a professor here at the University of Michigan. My name is Tom Anderson, and I'm a professor of Latin American Literature and chair of the Department of Romance Languages and Literatures at the University of Notre Dame. My name is Maricel Moreno, and I am an associate professor of U.S. Latino Latina Literature at the University of Notre Dame. And I'm really excited that you all are joining us for what is a first of our teach outs at the university. We're partnering with the University of Notre Dame, and both of us sent teams down to Puerto Rico to see firsthand the aftermath of Hurricane Maria and what has and what has not been done to prepare the island for the next hurricane season. I think the project's title, Listening to Puerto Rico, says it all. Our central aim is to get people to listen to voices of Puerto Ricans from many walks of life and to hear how their lives have been impacted since Hurricane Maria. But listening, as I understand it, is not just about hearing the people's words. It also implies taking notice of and acting on what people say. In this teach out, you'll gain a general idea of what Puerto Rico is, a more nuanced understanding of the impact of Hurricane Maria, and inspiration to help promote awareness and action to help the island's reconstruction efforts. What distinguishes these materials from others is the archive of interviews and narratives that we have collected that is, an archive that seeks to represent a diverse group of voices from the people of Puerto Rico about how Hurricane Maria impacted their lives. The spirit of this teach out and of this collaboration is to bring you voices that you probably haven't heard before. Our goal is that you walk away from this experience not only with a more informed picture of what's actually taking place on the island and what is actually taking place behind the government statements and press releases, but that also you're inspired to do something. No matter where you are around the world, there's an opportunity to step up, to hear these voices, and to respond. And take action in whatever way you can, by spreading the word, by sharing your knowledge, by donating to an established and reputable charity working in Puerto Rico, or by going to the island and doing something meaningful and worthwhile. I also hope that the audience can witness how Puerto Ricans have worked relentlessly to lift themselves up and to rebuild Puerto Rico since the devastation caused by Hurricane Maria. Many of those efforts started before the hurricane, but intensified since then. Most of the progress has been made by the people, given the inadequate responses from both the island and the federal U.S. governments. Puerto Ricans lifting the island need help. We want people to feel engaged with the subject and to participate in rebuilding Puerto Rico. But in order to accomplish that, we first need to listen to the people.